Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to 9th grade. We have been given a trapezium of parallel sides 10 and 25 and the non-parallel sides are 13 and 14 centimeters. We have to calculate the area of the trapezium. Now there are so many methods to solve this problem. In this particular video, we will see a method which is not generally used in the textbooks. So what we will do as part of the solution is we will drop perpendiculars from A and B to CD. Let us say they are AE and BF. Now we have two right angle triangles. One is triangle ADE and the another is triangle BCF. We have AB is given as 10 and CD equals to 25. Now that 25 we are going to divide this into three parts. We will take DE as X then cf will become 15 minus x so that cd will be again back to 25 so de is x ef is 10 and cf is 15 minus x now let's consider two triangles the first triangle is ade right angle triangle in which we can apply the pythagoras theorem and we can say that ade is one triangle another triangle is bcf or bfc in these two triangles, we will apply Pythagoras theorem and we will try to equate the value of h by which we need to calculate the value of x. So, I will write down ad square equals to ae square plus de square, 13 square equals to x square plus h square. Similarly, let us go to the other right angle triangle BFC. There we have again Pythagoras theorem. So, we can say BC square equals to BF square plus CF square or FC square. Now, we know that BF is H and FC is 15 minus X. So, we will write down 14 square equals to H square plus 15 minus X whole square. Now, this is our equation number 2. From 1 and 2, when we try to equate H square, we will have from the first equation h square is 13 square minus x square and from the second equation we will get 14 square minus of 15 minus x whole square. So let us write down that we will have 13 square minus x square equals to 14 square minus of 15 minus x whole square. You can open the brackets and simplify this or you can also use algebraic identity a, a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. Anything is fine. What I have tried to do here is just get variables on one side, numbers on one side. After that open the brackets and try to simplify to get the value of x. So we have 13 square minus 14 square is x square minus 15 minus x whole square. 13 square is 169, 14 square is 196 and on the right side we have x square minus simplify 15 minus x whole square expand it you will get x square minus 30x plus 225. Let us simplify this we will have minus 27 equals to x square minus x square plus 30x minus 225. We can cancel x square and x square we will get 30x equals to 198. So, x equals to 6.6, .6, but what we need is h. We are not interested in x, but we need to have x to calculate the value of h. Now, let us go to the triangle ADE and say that h square plus x square is 13 square. Substitute x equals to 6.6 .6 there. We will have h square equals to 13 square minus 6.6 .6 whole square, which is a plus b into a minus b. So, I can write down 19.6 into 6.4 which I can adjust as 1.96 into 64 so that I can get perfect square roots there. So, h will be equals to 1.4 into 8 which is equals to 11.2. However, you calculate the h value, your answer will be 11.2. Once you got 11.2, now we are pretty easy to complete this problem. We can use the formula of area of trapezium is half into sum of parallel sides into the distance between the parallel lines or the height which is half into 10 plus 25 into 11.2 which is nothing but equals to 5.6 into 35 which comes down to 196 centimeter square. So, the area of trapezium in this particular scenario is 196 centimeter square. So, when you have non-parallel sides not equal, one method what you can apply is 
drop the perpendiculars from one parallel side to the other parallel side divide them into one two right triangles and one rectangle then after that we can use pythagoras theorem to equate the value of h so that you can calculate the value of x once we got the h we can go back to trapezium formula that half into a plus b into h